going on, y'all? We out here at the Warner Terminal in Dallas. Spent the night here last night. Um, after we had delivered our load out in DeSoto, Texas. Today, we gotta go pick up our load out in Carrollton, Texas to head back up to Bridgewater, Massachusetts. And then we headed home. So, I should probably be home by like the end of the week, maybe Friday, Saturday. Today's currently Tuesday. See, it's beautiful weather out here. Fortunately, I gotta return back to the cold up in the northeast. So, about to go start my day now. Get my trailer, hook up, and we gonna head out to our, to our pickup and start making our way back up through Tennessee and so on and so on. And. Um, y'all updated as we go so stay tuned what's going on y'all we just got to our pickup got another water truck over there but i'm trying to figure out where the door is and how do you turn around inside here to park um gotta go inside and see about this pickup and then we're gonna make our way try to get some fuel Quick update, y'all. We just got loaded. Got the bus balls. Everything look good. Buy it to our fuel stop, get fuel, and start making our way. Nice weather for a little bit. 
before I get back. So um, when I get to a uh, rest area, I'll start rolling again just so you guys can see you know, where I'm staying at. I try not to do too many truck stops. Just for the simple fact that it's always congested. The parking situation is never good. So I kind of just want to stick to my rest areas. You know, where I know I can get, you know, a spot and not have to worry about hitting somebody or tight parking spaces. So when I get to my next rest area, I'll put you guys in. Just came to give a little update. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. What's going on, y'all? Just got to Lenoke, Arkansas. Just pulled over at a truck parking area. Still got like about four hours to our fuel stop in Tennessee. Um, I decided to just pull over here, shut it down for the night, get some rest. We get up at like six in the morning, try to get out of here by 6.30, finish out those four hours, and continue making our way up to our drop-off destination in Massachusetts so overall today not a bad day a little shaky in the beginning but um, pretty decent day good weather nice and hot sunny and that's pretty much how the day went I'm about to go get some food maybe I'll show y'all what I'm eating tonight might throw that in there got a little something in the back um, just going to chill out here for the night Pick it up in the morning What's going on y'all? We out here still in Oak, Arkansas At this truck parking on the side of the highway Very noisy last night sleeping here But can't complain It's better than nothing um, Right now 6.56 a.m. We still got another 282 miles to go until we hit our few stop in Tennessee. I was supposed to have been left a long time ago, but uh, it was a slow morning for me. Um, just didn't really get good sleep, but um, can't really complain too much due to the fact that, you know, I'm on the side of the highway. It's a lot of noise, a lot of trucks flying down all hours of the night, cars flying down, honking, all kind of noise going on. So it's not perfect, but Gotta roll with the punches. So I'm about to push out now and we're gonna roll out to our fuel stop in Tennessee. And from there we're gonna continue our journey back up to our delivery in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. So I'll definitely keep y'all updated and in the loop. There's a bug on my windshield. Get that. <laughs> I'll keep y'all in the loop and See y'all in a few. What's going on, guys? We just got to our fuel stop in Tennessee. It's packed in here, man. But we made it. It's currently now 11, 1134. And we just made it to Tennessee. We got another half a day worth of driving to do after this um, try to see if I can make it to Virginia and shut out shut down out there for the night and um, pick it back up in the morning but, uh, we just made it to our truck stop we halfway home Yeah, we got like about three hours 
updates to shut down. And uh, we'll pick it back up in the morning, but I'll keep y'all updated. What's good, y'all? We just got to Jefferson City, Tennessee. Just pulled into this rest area for the night. We got like about an hour and 35 left on the clock and it's 6.20 p.m. currently. We back on Eastern Town. We got another 516 miles to go till we hit our fuel stop in PA. So pretty much we on target for our delivery. I was just checking in with y'all. We out here. Today wasn't too bad. Um, a lot of hills. The hills was really killing me today. But other than that, it was a smooth ride. Good weather. You know, it was sunny. No rain. It wasn't like how, how it was when I came down the first time. Um, the weather held up pretty good today. It was nice and warm. So I'm just out here chilling um, for the night. And I'm going to get up like about 6 a.m., you know, and get back on the road and see if we can make it to PA. And uh, we're going to get some fuel and all of that when we get out there. But um, I'm about to go in and get some rest. As you can see, the truck area is nice and empty. That's why I like coming into these places. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the pilots and all of that. But the pilots and the loves. But you just can't beat this, man. Look at all the spaces, man. You just can't beat this. Like... You know, they got a little bathroom over there. And, you know, you got a couple vending machines if you want something. But, you know, it's just all about the spaces for me, man. You ain't got to worry about the parking and, you know, going in there and you can't find nothing. No place to park. You got to squeeze somewhere. I just pull up in here, man, and I just do my thing and I chill for the night. And that's it, man. I'm about to go get some food. I got some chicken and rice in the back. I'm about to heat that up. And I'm about to chill for the for the night and watch some Netflix on my phone. And we're going to pick this up in the morning, y'all. I'll holla. What's going on, y'all? Quick update. As you can see, I'm still here at the truck stop here in Jefferson, Tennessee. Uh, this morning, I got up at 6 a.m. to start my day early. And... Um, Got out the truck, did my routine walk around, check my lights, check my tires, check my connections, make sure everything's good and working for me to uh, pull off. So I got back in the truck and I'm about to start up my, my navigation system to pull off. And I looked at my clock and I see I got five hours and 50 minutes on my 70 hour DOT. So right now, I gotta do a 34 hour reset. So pretty much I'm stuck here until tomorrow and the delivery is due tomorrow and I wasn't aware that my time was running out like that. But I've been running straight every day since last week, Thursday when I left Connecticut. And um, I, didn't, I didn't even know that my, my 70 hour was running down like that. I did have a day off after I dropped off the, the delivery earlier in the week, um, when I dropped off the first load down in uh, DeSoto, Texas, I wasn't aware that my clock, my 70 hour was, you know, being eaten away. So right now I'm currently stuck right now here out in uh, this rest area. Um, pretty much the deliveries do tomorrow we're not gonna make it to massachusetts tomorrow we still got like about another 15 hours of driving to do. so i'm probably not gonna be able to get up there up until maybe saturday but most likely that uh shipper is gonna be closed so this delivery might not get done until monday so that kind of sucks now so everything's kind of thrown off now because of my reset um kind of hate having deliveries so close to the weekend and most places are closed on the weekend so now i might be stuck with this load for the next few days and that's pretty much it we're pretty much stuck right now we can't go nowhere until tomorrow so 
guess I ain't got no choice but to hang out here for the night, well, the rest of the day and the night, and tomorrow when I wake up, I'ma probably see if the clock is reset and pick up from there and start making my way back up. I'm pretty much a day behind, so I keep you guys updated when we get moving again. We stuck out here in Jefferson City. Rest area. Well, at least I got my parking space still, so I ain't gotta worry about nothing. But um Yeah, we out here. I keep you guys updated with this load. Back to y'all in the next one so what's good y'all we just got to mount sydney i'm at a rest area about to do my 30. about two hours and 53 minutes before the 30 so i'm taking my 30 now and then we got another 208 miles to go till we hit the fuel stop in pennsylvania um still out here in virginia right now but we almost to pennsylvania uh, this morning, left out like about 8 o'clock. I woke up a little late today, um, given the situation that happened yesterday. So, um, not really too much in a rush to make this delivery because of the fact that um, it's not going to get delivered till Monday. So, I kind of just got a little bit of time to play around with right now. So, I got a little extra sleep this morning and um, left out about 8 a.m., I started getting on the road weather's pretty bad today right now it just stopped raining so it's a little cloudy right now but um we're on our way up i'm about to get a little bit of rest right now and um i'm gonna continue this ride going up to our fuel stop um, i'll fill you guys in when i get to my rest stop uh, hopefully the rain holds up because the highway is horrible when it's raining like the amount of mist that's being kicked up from the trucks the cars could barely see anything some parts of the some parts of the highway is is a bit foggy but over here seems to be a little clear even though it's it's raining um it stopped raining actually it's a little clear over here so um i'm about to just take my break and uh i'll pick this back up when we get to our fuel stop in uh pennsylvania like i said we got another 208 miles to go so we'll be there shortly so i'll catch y'all soon Y'all, uh, little update. It's 5:42 in the morning. Still out here in Pennsylvania. I got here yesterday. I didn't do too much recording, but um, I'm out here in Pennsylvania at this rest area. Um, like I said, the delivery's not getting done until next week, till Monday, because of my 34 hour. So kind of stuck with this load for the weekend. But um, I'm gonna be leaving out soon to go to my fuel stop but for right now i'm about to just go inside this uh little building right here so i could you know brush my teeth take care of my necessities and all of that um before i get rolling so just came to give a quick update um probably not going to be recording too much up until you know we start making our way to massachusetts for the delivery on monday this is what we're looking at right now. Right now, we just crossed over to GWB. 
little bit of traffic, but lanes is super tight over here, but ain't nothing like New York out here. So right now, we headed up to uh, Connecticut. Um, I'm gonna park up the truck for a little bit since the delivery is not gonna be done until Monday. So that's pretty much what's the agenda for the day. Park up the truck and we just gonna wait till Monday for the delivery to be done. Probably leave out early Monday morning. So we in New York, we made it. We still got a little bit to go, but we, we almost there. So when, uh, there's a lot of traffic, man. This, this traffic is crazy. But um, when I get to uh, the delivery site, I'll probably start rolling again. But until then, I'm gonna just cut it right here real quick. And be out here in New York. I probably might roll some more footage. say about driving out New York City it's very tight right? I mean for me I guess it's different because I grew up out here so I'm kind of like used to the road already but the roads are very tight kind of narrow uh, they're not very truck friendly some of these lanes some of these highways and then on top of that the overpasses man the overpasses are the worst but you know as long as you stick to your GPS you know, you should be fine going under the overpasses. And definitely stay away from the parkways. It is so easy for you to end up on a parkway out here. Please follow all your signs. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. So easy for you to get caught up on a parkway out here. You don't want them kind of problems. But, um, yeah, the, the overpasses, they're pretty low. But, um, as long as you stay with your, um, with your GPS, you should be fine. Um, but yeah, I kind of like driving out here in New York City. Uh, miss being out here. And, you know, it's kind of fun just, you know, driving through and seeing the different different sites and all of that. Especially, I have not been out here in so long. Um, yeah. New York is a different, it's a different type of driving for truck drivers. In my opinion. Other than that, it's pretty smooth. We've got an overpass coming here, this one looks slow, but when you're going under, you think you're not gonna make it, thinking you're gonna hit, but you never hit. Most of these roads that you're on is designed to, for, for trucks to be on, so just stick to your GPS and you should be fine. Shortly, and uh, I'll get back to you guys soon when we get to our spot. All right, guys, 
guys, so we just made it to our drop off. I just go through here. Yeah, then you can you'll be able to back up right to the dock. Uh, okay. It's the last one um, that you'll see against the wall. You'll see the sign too. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. All right, so this is in it. So you gotta go around. We'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. Now we made it to our, our destination. A little hiccup over there, but over here now a little straight back to this dock right here I'm about to go inside see what they're talking about and uh see what they got going on block guess we gotta get buzzed in We're getting unloaded right now. Load still intact. Alright, I'm about to get unloaded, so I'm about to back this truck up and wait for them to unload me. Carrollton, Texas to Bridgewater, Massachusetts is over. All we gotta do now is drop off the trailer and we out of here for the day. So the next one. All right, y'all, so we just made it back to the DC. We back at the Dollar Tree. We made it back home. I'm about to drop off the trailer now and Call it a day, that's it for me. We made it from Texas to Massachusetts. So, I'm about to close this video out. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Whatever you gotta do, let's make this video go viral. I'm about to park this trailer up. I'm about to head home. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.